Have you ever wondered why we measure circles in 360 degrees instead of a simpler number like 100? This question may seem odd, but it opens up a fascinating exploration of history, mathematics, and the interconnectedness of the world around us. Circles are fundamental to our understanding of the universe. They're in the orbits of planets, the wheels on your car, the clock on your wall, and even the pizza you had for dinner last night. But why 360 degrees? Why not 100 or 200 or any other number? The answer to this mystery isn't just mathematical, it's historical, it's practical, and yes, it's even a bit astronomical. This isn't just about numbers on a page or a geometry problem to solve, it's about how we understand and navigate our world, from the starry skies above us to the ground beneath our feet. As it turns out, the answer to this question takes us back thousands of years to the ancient Babylonians, who had a fascination with the skies. This society was one of the earliest to develop a complex system of mathematics, and they chose a numeral system that was based on the number 60. But why 60, you might wonder? Their choice was likely influenced by their keen interest in astronomy and their careful observations of the celestial bodies. The sun's annual journey across the sky, as seen from Earth, traces an elliptical path that closely approximates a circle. The Babylonians noticed that this journey took roughly 360 days, give or take a few. This led them to adopt a calendar based on this cycle. Just as they had divided the year into 360 days, they began to divide the circle, which they saw mirrored in the heavens into 360 equal parts. The concept of a 360-degree circle didn't end with the Babylonians, it found its way to the Egyptians too. The ancient Egyptians, renowned for their architectural and astronomical prowess, also adopted a 360-day calendar. But they didn't stop there. They added five extra festive days, bringing the total to 365, closer to our modern calendar. Yet, the 360-day count regarding the circle remained pivotal. They divided the circle, a shape seen as divine and perfect, into 360 parts, and the circle became a symbol of the year's cyclical nature. This Egyptian innovation didn't just stay within their borders, it spread, influencing Greek and Roman civilizations and eventually the whole world. Over time the 360-degree circle became a mathematical standard, a testament to the interconnectedness of timekeeping, astronomy and geometry. It's a beautiful example of how the practical needs of ancient civilizations shaped the mathematical principles we use today. But the tale doesn't stop here. The number 360 wields a certain allure from a mathematical viewpoint. It falls into the group of numbers known as the highly composite numbers. You may be asking yourself, what does that mean? A highly composite number is a positive integer with more divisors than any smaller positive integer has. In relation to 360, it possesses 24 numbers that can divide it seamlessly without leaving an excess. Starting from the number 1 and proceeding all the way to 360, it covers digits such as 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and continues to the midpoint of 180. This distinct feature renders the number 360 a preferred choice among mathematicians and individuals who often work with division in circles. Moreover, the mathematical elegance of 360 extends beyond being a highly composite number with 24 divisors. It's also the smallest number divisible by each integer from 1 to 10. Its high divisibility makes it the perfect option for splitting circles into equal segments providing a precision and flexibility that other numbers can't compete with. The 360-degree circle isn't just a historical artifact, it continues to shape our world today. Circles provide an invisible blueprint in the world of architecture, mathematics, science, astronomy and many other fields. So, although it may seem odd at first glance, the selection of 360 degrees was deliberate. The choice wasn't a random selection but rather a well-thought-out decision. It's a reflection of mathematical convenience, practicality and pervasive influence in our daily lives. So, the next time you see a circle remember there's more to it than meets the eye. Circles are a testament to human ingenuity, a bridge between the past and the present, and a tool that continues to shape our world. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.